Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's vlog. We are currently getting ready to go play in the snow again. It might be the last time. I'm not sure. It's supposed to get warmer tomorrow and the next day. I know Thursday is supposed to rain so that's going to be the end of the snow. But we're going to go play because this one's been asking for like a half hour. She's like, come on. She was even trying to put her boots on but I guess I was taking too long to get ready. So you ready honey? I'm going to put your snowsuit on. Yeah, and your boots. It's like, let's go, Mom. Let's go. Allie, are you going to actually play or are you just going to stand there? The poor thing. She like, I guess it's just like too much snow for her, so she can't like move. Like She's got one path going to her bathroom and like she made like another little path, but it doesn't go too far. So I know it's melted a little bit, so maybe she'll like, I don't know, want to run around the yard a little more instead of the same spot. <laughs> All right, anyway, enough rambling. Let's go. So I'm trying to get Allie to run and make more paths in the snow. Because, like, it's really weird that she hasn't touched much of it. Like, as you can see, it's just right here. She did a little bit right there. Don't mind Scarlet crawling. And then, obviously, this path to go to her bathroom. So she has the whole yard. I don't know why she won't do it. It's melted a bunch, so it's not, like, as high as it was. Come on, Allie. Run. 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 There you go. Keep going. Get up that hill. Like, no, I'm good. This is enough. What are you doing? You look like a little blue bear crawling in the snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, she went further. Good job, Allie. Keep going. Keep going. I'm proud of you. Scarlett, did you just say more? What do you want her to do? What do you want Allie to do? You want her to keep running? Yeah. <laughs> this kid just keeps crawling back and forth. I don't know what the fun is in that, but that's okay. You're gonna stand? Be careful. There you go. Good job. Yeah, uh-oh. We gotta put your glove back on. I keep trying to get Scarlett to sit and just play with these little buckets and spoon because her boot and her gloves keep falling off and I don't want anything to get too cold on her. So, I don't know. She wants to keep crawling and then that's how the boot falls off. So, it's a downfall of her not being able to walk right now. What, baby? Nah. What? Nah. Are you all done? Nah. You're done? I think your hands are cold, honestly. Nah. Oh, okay. Are you feeling better, Scarlett? Nah. Yeah, you're watching Mickey, so you're happy. Nah. I feel so bad. Her So her mittens kept falling off on her boots. The I would always catch it with the boots so her feet didn't get cold, but her hands, they were so cold. That's why she was crying. So when we came in, I put a dry pair of mittens on and wrapped her up in a blanket and had her sit in this chair and it seemed to help because I just checked her hands and they're not cold anymore but I just feel so bad like do they make mittens for toddlers that actually stay on because I I don't know and the boots I feel like they kept falling off because typically toddlers walk and as you guys know she had the surgery so she can't walk right now she is practicing she started to yesterday but it just it sucks and I feel so bad like I was just like tearing up because I just it was so frustrating and I just feel really bad for her but hopefully within a few more months all this will be behind us and we won't even think about it right <laughs> but for now we're gonna continue heating up and then we're gonna have some lunch and then she needs a much needed nap because she had a rough night of sleep as per usual except yesterday night she slept so good so I got spoiled with some sleep the last night Nope. <laughs> Scarlet is currently napping. She really did not want to go to sleep, but within five to ten minutes she felt right to sleep. So anyway, um, Allie's friend was texting me about coming by, but I have to like shovel a path so they can get in and like, you know, the whole situation in the yard. So they want to go do that because I think they would have so much fun playing. Um, if you guys don't know, she has two husky friends. I think only one of them is coming though because the other one, he's like Allie, they're both older and he just, he doesn't feel like really running around, but we'll see. He might change his mind and bring both of them. But yeah, I'm going to just go through the garage door, shovel my way that way so I can make room for the gate to open. And then I got to shovel where the gate is, like it's, it's a whole ordeal. So I feel like this is going to take me like a half hour and then they'll come and then Scarlett will probably wake up within the hour. So let me shut up and get going here. I should have showed you guys how high it was at the door, <clears throat> but you can kind of have a guess. <laughs> so I made a little path right here to get out. I still have to work over here, but I got the gate open. And um, I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can tell. There's some lovely paw prints 
and I'm going to say it's a coyote. So that's fun. <laughs> not creepy at all. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> so raise your hand if you think I'm crazy for what I just did. But I really shoveled so far. <laughs> I, I'm so out of breath and so tired, but let me show you what I did. So all the way from the gate, all the way down to here. I mean, over here, I kind of slacked with it, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, what if they don't come over? Like, I did this all for nothing. But not really, because Allie can now run freely. And, you know, she'll like that when she sees it. But, oh my god, I'm so tired from doing that. Sadly, I think I got ghosted on this play date. Because I told him that I was all done and everything. And I have not heard back from him since, well, two hours ago when he texted me. And I said I would text him when I was all set, like, shoveling and stuff. And nothing so i'm glad i didn't say anything to Allie because then she would be like all excited for nothing i did that once and i learned my lesson so i'm a little annoyed but like i said at least Allie has like a way to get around the yard now so there's that but maybe they'll come by tomorrow or something but the snow's gonna be melting so i don't, I don't even know this whole thing was pointless wasn't it <sighs> my arm hurts from shoveling too so there's that but I guess I'll just relax now because Scarlett will probably be waking up in like a half hour because that's pretty much what she's been doing. Or another hour. We'll see. Well, Allie, I want you to experience this path I made. So come run or something. Let's go. Let's see if you'll do anything. I made a path for you. Well, I made it for your friends, but I don't know what happened there. Do you see? Go. Look. You can go all the way up. Go. Look. She's like, no, I'm going to the bathroom first. A few moments later. Do you see? No, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Come up here, look. This way. There you go. <laughs> now she's happy. I think she, like, I don't know, she probably thinks somebody's coming, though, because she just went to the gate. Sorry, Allie. Maybe tomorrow. Come back. Come run. Allie. Oh, that was a terrible whistle. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Things I do for my old husky. <laughs> it's like, who are you calling old? I'm not old. <laughs> She's happy. Oh my. <laughs> well, somebody's happy that their dad dad's home. Even though she didn't really notice him at first because we had the TV on. <laughs> Ken's like, hi. She just looks at him. Whatever. <laughs> so I had another day of wonderful class all day long, just eight hours of training of just code, just lots of code. But anyway, today was the, the last full day. Tomorrow is just a little bit more coursework and then the exam and I should be done. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go back to working. I don't want to learn any of the code. I just want to do what I've been doing because what I've been doing has been great and fun. My in, my energy is just drained. Like just sitting there listening to this guy who is enthusiastic about nothing beneficial to the, to the job that I do. But anyway, it's it's whatever. It's what the agency wants to do. Let them do it. It's not going to affect how I how I perform my job whatsoever. Um but yeah, I'm home now. I'm having some nice Earl Grey tea to try to give me a bit of a caffeine boost while bring my uh, my mood back down to a you know normal happy guy, as opposed to miserable and suffering, which is how I felt at work all day, listening to to the training. But anyway, 
It's good to be home now. I've got dinner cooking. We're going to have some nice roasted carrots, some broccoli cheddar noodles, and some chicken tenders. and It's going to be a good time. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I'm starving. I did, however, try a new place for lunch today. I went to this place called Espresso's Pizza, and I got a meatball grinder. I typically don't get meatball grinders because a lot of places, especially Subway, Subway sucks. Uh, sorry if you enjoy Subway's meatball grinders. If you're watching this and you do, there's something wrong with you. Don't eat Subway's meatball grinders. They're just not good. They're not good. They're, no. If you don't know what a grinder is either, come to Rhode Island and we'll show you. Uh, it's pretty much like a Rhode Island thing, northern New England thing. Um, it's pretty much just a sub or a hero or whatever you call it where you are. It's toasted, it's great, but Espresso's Pizza has amazing grinders. Like, the bread was nice and toasty, the sauce was perfect, the meatballs tasted fresh. Uh, you don't really get that at a lot of places. Sometimes you'll just get, like, the frozen meatballs, and I know that's what Subway uses. Uh, but even like a lot of the mom and pop shops will use like frozen Italian meatballs for their subs and it's just, no, oh, it's not good. Uh, Espresso's tasted very fresh and tasted legit. And I'm very happy that I went there for lunch and, and got that. And it was only like seven bucks. A lot of places around here also overcharge for food. I'm going to stop rambling about food because I'm just making myself more hungry. Ellie's favorite word, hungry. Sorry. I am so proud of this child. She cleared her entire plate. She ate everything that we gave her. She had carrots today. She doesn't normally eat carrots, so I'm, I'm very happy about it. Sorry if I seem like overly excited about carrots, but it's just a big deal to me. And she wanted more, so I should have made more because I didn't have any more to give her. We, well, we could have gave her from ours, but typically... Yeah, I didn't didn't expect her to eat them, so like we oh, ate... Oh, you gave her like three? You know, no, I gave her four. Well, They're yeah. pretty big carrots. They're not like, you know, too small. Right now she's focused on cleaning her table with dirty water. <laughs> not dirty, it's her drinking water, which she knows I don't like when she does that. Her mouth's been all over it, it's dirty. Okay. Scarlet, cheers! She's looking at you because you don't have a cup. That's right, I don't have a cup. Yeah, pour it out. Sandwich! Sandwich. <laughs> We've just been doing puzzles for like the last half hour. It's been really cute. She loves it. We did all her like board puzzles. Yeah, like, like, like those. Stuff. And now we're doing like the watermelon. The picnic basket, yeah. Ken. Picnic basket. Well, she's stuck on the watermelon. <laughs> you want more? No. Okay. Everything is always more. Well, she said all done with the last one. Allie, is that food I can eat? I can touch that? All right, Scarlet. Which one's the which one's the sandwich? Get the sandwich. Yeah, put that one in. Good job. Good job. Okay, you gotta use a little more force than that. It does go there. You just gotta really put it in there. Good job. Yay! That's a cookie. Well. I think we're going to wrap up the vlog here. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope Allie enjoyed her snow path. Yeah, she enjoyed it. This is fun. <laughs> I like this. I'm glad you do. It keeps her entertained. You know where the circle goes. Give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoy. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. If you want to go on a picnic with us, let us know. Yeah. I won't take it away. I'm oh, sorry. God. I'm sorry. Put it back, Dad. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.